All right, so I've been gone for a little bit. My fault. Um, so I want to get into the drying wrap products. What I use, how I keep my hair protected, and my progress. So as you can see, my hair is up in a protective style. So what I basically did was plait my hair into like 11 little braids and then just braided them together to make one big halo braid. It's not perfect, but it looks decent. I'll go to work this way and leave it like this for a couple months. Now mind you, I do wash my hair even though it stays in this protective style for a while. It's the winter time it needs to be protected it needs to be in something like this and there's many protective styles i just chose this one so i just take my braids down from the halo braid and use a shampoo bar i will share who i get my shampoo bar through and i just basically go in and it lathers very well and wash my scalp all the way in and this is just something that I do if you ask your beautician she may say don't do that but this is just something that works for me everybody has their own blueprint like everybody just like a thumbprint everybody's thumbprint is different and unique to them and I've tried everything I've tried I've looked at the YouTube videos I've looked at you know what different people are saying and even beauticians but this is what has worked for me and I have seen results for me. After I have finished washing my hair, I will take my drying wrap hair towel and dry my hair. I just take it. Just simple, right? And just let it sit. And it dries like this, so I can basically go throughout my day. I'm at home, this is my routine. I know that I'm going to leave this on, you know, and that's it. And, it, and it'll dry right before I go to bed. So, that's the first step. When it's time for bed, I will take my Mega Wrap cover up my braids and go to sleep and I always always sleep on a dry and wrap pillowcase I don't use silk it overheats me but this pillowcase just like the mega wrap and the edge perfect and the dry and wrap it leaves the moisture in my hair while wicking away any sweat and keeps me cool so I start with drying wrap, in with drying wrap. This is what works for me. Um, I added buttons in case I want to wear this particular one to work so that I can wear my mask and not irritate my ears. So what I love about the mega wrap, so not only is my hair getting all the protection that I need it from, to be from this cold weather, I can turn it into a hat. So if I did have my hair in a high ponytail, I would just have like a really cute headband, right? But when I go to sleep at night, I just simply take it because there's two layers and I turn it into a hat. I work out in it. go to sleep it's a two-in-one it's perfect so I've washed my hair I have dried my hair with the dry and wrap hair towel I am putting this on as a another added layer of protection when I go to sleep and then I'm using sleeping on my pillowcase but made by dry and wrap so another product that I use to coat my braids and to keep moisture now number one I had to learn whether or not if my hair was low porosity, high porosity, or in the middle, right? So I did the strand test. In order for me to choose the correct products to go on my hair, I had to figure that part out first. That is the basic. Like that is the basic thing that 
before you put any products on your hair. Know what your porosity is of your hair, otherwise it's not gonna work. That's just what I found that works out for me. It may not work out for you, but this, I got results. So anyways, um, I do coat my hair with, with the Che Bay product. And I just simply go in and while it's still semi-wet, after I've washed it, I just grab what I need and take each plait and protect each one and just coat it and then put it right back in a halo braid and that's what I do. So if you look at different YouTube videos and you look at what everybody is saying, they're all saying the same thing. Protective styles, moisture, and leaving your hair alone and patience. Those are the four things. So no matter what products you are using or what products is best for your hair, you have to listen to your body. You have to listen to what your hair is saying and don't ignore any of those signs. And once you figure that out for you, for those that don't go to beauticians and doing it themselves at home like I do, that is the thing that I have discovered that works the best for me. You have to figure out what works best for you and if you do veer from that, you may not see the results that you're looking for. This is how I've been able to retain my length and go from this to now this. And I, and even on the whole trimming my ends, I only trim my ends once a year. And so I called up a good friend of mine who I love and trust and she basically got on a Zoom with us, a face chat, and showed my husband where to cut. I let him trim my hair. He has no idea about a woman's hair or anything like that. He's a financial advisor. He had no idea, but I trusted my beautician and she walked him through how to trim my hair and I try to trim it myself and it just, this is what it looked like. But when he got done, this is how it came out. So, I mean, she was wonderful. So that was an amazing thing for me. So yes, I do trim my hair. I don't go in and do it every six weeks because my hair is staying in a protective style all year long like there's no reason for my hair to be out so lastly what am I doing about these edges okay so I found a black owned business and she makes really great edge control so let me just do a little So what do I do to keep, once I have applied it, edge perfect? Like I have all the products for you. I have all the products for you, I do. Edge perfect, if you don't know about edge perfect, it, they will make your edges perfect, okay? So you see how I just put my product on, right? and just tie it up or however you want to do it. However you want to do it, you can tuck it in the back, right? And just leave it, go to sleep with it. Um, if you sweat overnight like I do, it will wick away the sweat and your edges will be laid when you, cut, when you wake up. If you like to put any type of oil on your scalp, which I don't really like doing that, but because it's winter and when I wash my scalp, it's still gonna it's still gonna show up dry. Like I still get the little dryness right up in here. It's just the season. It's just the weather is changing. It just is what it is, right? So so the same so the same young lady that makes this also makes this and has fenugreek seeds in there and a bunch of other great herbs. And I just simply take this on those areas where it's really dry and I just apply this. If your skin gets ashy, you apply lotion. 
I do this not necessarily all in my hair or all over my scalp, but just to kind of clean up those, you know, flaky parts or whatever. That's just something that I do. If you don't agree, I'm sorry, but this is what I have done to get these results. And consistency, patience, right? Remember, patience, the right products, and protective styles. Leave your hair alone. Leave it alone. I know it's hard. I know we want to like do everything to our hair, put our hands in it, move it around. Do It's going to break off. It's going to break off. So just do those three things. The right products. Know what your porosity is. Putting it in a protective style, leaving it alone. That is the biggest thing. Leave your hair alone. Find like four protective styles that you really like and spread it out throughout the year and just do those and leave it alone. And then lastly, patience. Let your hair do what it's gonna do. It's going to grow, it will grow. What you wanna do is keep your length. You don't want it to break off. If you follow these steps, you follow these steps, you will see results, I'm telling you. I am a witness. And it did not take long for me to get my length back. So, so go to my website, dryinwrap.com. You can get the pillowcase, the dry and wrap hair towel, because you really wanna make sure that you're drying your hair with the right tools, right? I mean, when I dry my hair with my dry and wrap hair towel, it's almost like air drying it. It's the safest thing on my hair. I don't see any breakage, it's perfect. Your pillow, I said pillowcase, your uh, mega wrap. Mega wraps, I work out in it, it's freezing cold, and I cover my ears with it, and my ears stay warm. It's great, it's perfect. It's perfect, and before I get out of here, I, this thing has been on there pretty tightly, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I mean, it stays in place. Your edges will stay perfect with your edge perfect. So, yes, this is what I do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit my website and get into these products.